Hey, hey everybody and welcome back to our weekly check-in. So we are checking in for the last two weeks. So the week before we didn't have that many transactions, so I decided just to wait. So we are in our Erin Condren 7x9 planner. We have our budget mom file facts with our cash envelopes. We're just gonna pull these out. So we have that sitting to the side. We also have my no spin stickers from my shop. We have Romina Rosa's insurance script stickers here, um, car payment stickers from my shop, bill due stickers here, and then our expense trackers from Sam Marie. And we are gonna go ahead and set this to the side. First, we're gonna look at groceries. We're gonna be checking in from the 14th until the 27th. So two full weeks here checking in. So let's go ahead. So we have one, two, three, four transactions for groceries. So we have Harris Teeter. They had a sale going by to get three free. Harris Teeter, and that was $25. Then went to Walmart, pick up what we needed for $99. Um, the day before Thanksgiving, we went down to my sister's and helped her get the house ready for Thanksgiving. So I stopped and grabbed pizza for the kids for lunch. And then we went by Aldi's and picked up a few things. I haven't really been in Aldi's that much recently. So we went in there and got that. Picked up a few things in there. All right, so Harris Teeter and Walmart were done on the same day, being the 18th. Okay, getting pizza and Aldi's, if I can get it off. Uh -oh. <clears throat> All right, Aldi's was on the 27th being today. And then pizza was the 24th. All right, so there are all of our grocery categories. Next up, we have some gas. So, this one. We had two fill-ups in the past two weeks, one for James's car and one for mine. For my car, it costed $48 to fill up. And then for his, he was only about half a tank, so it was 29 to fill his car up. And we did that both on the 22nd. So there's the gas ones. Next up, uh, personal spending. I did have one transaction. I stopped by Tropical Grill and picked up me something to eat. For $12 there. And that was also on the 22nd. And then let's see, miscellaneous. We haven't had to spend anything for miscellaneous. I do have to pay my sister for the food from Thanksgiving. She picked up everything and we were gonna, going to pay her back and she hasn't told me how much yet, so. But we did make our last two car payments. So we did a payment of 253 for the Highlander and a payment of 207 for the Camaro. And then our insurance cleared, which was 285 there. All right, so insurance. All right, and this one cleared on Monday the 22nd. All right, and then the car payments. We're both paid on Friday the 26th. All right. 
So there are all of our expenses for the past two weeks, as well as the three bills that were paid. The rest of these days, we didn't spend any money. So a no spend. No spend. Nope. that one up okay so this is everything for the last two weeks let's count how many no spends we have so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen no spends and there's still three more days of this month so that is awesome so we're gonna go ahead and flip on over to our weekly check-in here and we are checking in from the 14th to the 27th. All right, and I filled in all of our um, categories over here. So we're just gonna use these numbers and not have to flip back and forth. So for groceries, we have the four transactions, 25.99, uh-oh, pizza was 16. plus 16 plus 22. So we spent a whole total of 162 for two weeks. The week before we still had 316 remaining. So minus the 162. So in our cash envelopes, we should still have 154. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is awesome. So that is perfect. Um, anything that's left over, we'll probably roll what we need to get our December grocery budget straightened out and then figure out what to do with the rest. But that is awesome. All right, next up, gas. We had two transactions, 48 and 29. So total spent was 77. Week before, we had 101 minus a 77 so that's 24 dollars still remaining and there's only three days of the month left so who knows what it'll be like because i think i need to fill up my car from how much i was going to my sister's house this week so we shall see hopefully i can last until the first you know goals but this was for two weeks so we did really good for two weeks next up personal spending which is myself i had 12 dollars spent we had 50 last week minus the 12 so that's 38 dollars in my cash envelope so pull out spending so that is 20 35 36 37 38 perfect all right and lastly is miscellaneous we didn't spend anything so we should still have our 177 and as soon as my sister lets me know how much I owe her for Thanksgiving, I will probably pull some of it from here because our holiday sinking fund, I think it has like $15 in it. So it doesn't have much, but we'll pull it from miscellaneous when she tells me the total. So that's 150, 75, 6, 7. So 177, which is awesome. So. That is what our weekly check-in is looking like. I don't think we did anything with sinking funds this week. I didn't do any Black Friday shopping or anything. Yeah. Okay, so that is all we have for this video. We have three more days left. I will kind of close out down here with those last three days and then do a budget recap or re budget results that y'all will see at, after the end of the month so I can get everything closed out. Um, but this is our last weekly check-in for the month of November. I really hope that y'all enjoy and I can't wait to catch y'all in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so this video can reach more people and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye-bye now.